for example, earned income tax credit and part of the child tax credit. And then we have the tax due or refund calculating down below, which I didn't actually, we're not going to hard code it. We just use conditional formatting. So it shows it as red or green. So that's going to be our, our basic starting point. Now, like I say, when we start to do more complex, uh, complex tax returns, we will add to our worksheet. So at the end of this whole cycle, we will end up with a pretty expansive worksheet that's going to have a whole bunch of tabs to the right, which will allow us to do data input, which will feed into this first tab. And, and we'll see how, how we can construct the worksheet as we go. Now, if you want to just start with that end worksheet, which is the worksheet that I would basically use uh, as my kind of starting point to double check my tax data input, then we'll, we'll hopefully we'll give you a copy of that. So you can just use that worksheet if you just want to do the data input and you don't want to practice the formatting as we go. But I want to just show you how you can build the worksheet uh, in Excel as we go, because that'll give you a better idea of the formula. We can practice Excel with it. And, uh, and then, and then we could see how to basically can, we can make this external uh, worksheet if you want to put it together. So that is that, like I say, it's a work in progress, and we'll continue building on it as we go double checking it for errors, because we, we have now an internal control, meaning with accounting, we have a double entry accounting system for the balance sheet being in balance, for example, do not have that with the tax return. So if we can double check what has happened two times for our data input in the tax return, as well as in with our Excel worksheet and do some of the calculations again in Excel, although we have to find a nice balance between not redoing everything, not being so detailed, it's going to take too much time versus doing enough data input so that we have the internal control, the double check and can basically understand what's going on, then that's going to give us another level of assurance and be something that you might want to do as a general practice uh, if you're doing data input into tax software.